two, one, go. Hey Oscar, you're looking pretty down. What's wrong? <laughs> I have a problem with my dorm room. Well, what is it? The insulation room is awful. My room is pumping out cold air, but it's still blazing hot. It's the middle of the summer. I need to be refreshed while I do my mastering engineering homework on MSC. The weird part is, I don't think the windows are the problem. It's almost as if the heat is seeping through the walls, like magic or something. Wow, that's a pretty large problem. This isn't just my problem, though, but everyone's. The loss of air conditioning is waste of energy, which means money flying out the window. <coughs> the only thing my parents are good for is ruining the environment, if you ask me. They are just a waste of resources. It can't be healthy for us. You know, you do have a valid point. I think I might have a solution for you. Okay, what is it? It's this thing called aerogel. Come on, I know someone who can explain it to you. Well, folks, it looks like it's your lucky day. Today you can get any of these chairs for a price of $19.95 or less, uh, plus shipping and handling, of course. And you have one with armrest, one with that. It just depends. And, uh, oh, hey, Brooke, what's going on? What can I do you for? Hey, Scott. My friend here is having a problem with the heating in his room, and he thinks it's due to the wall insulation. Yeah, it seems to be a really big problem. Yeah, it looks like I can definitely help you. It looks like you came to the right rolly chair slash aerogel salesman. Um, so anyway, let me tell you about aerogel. Aerogel is probably the best insulator on the market today. It's strong, porous, lightweight, and so basically it's awesome. Um, so let's take a look. It's time for the moment you've been waiting for. Duh. Da -da 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 -da. Aerogel. Even though it's a brittle, it has many pores, so it takes a long time for it to fail. Talk about reliability, right? Um, also, the most important part, it has a very high thermal resistance, meaning it can actually withstand temperatures up to 500 degrees Celsius. Whoa, that sounds awesome. However, I haven't heard much about it. Do people use it a lot? Oh yes, aerogels can be combined with batting to create heating blankets. Also, its immense strength makes it ideal for making impact absorbing applications like bicycle and motorcycle helmets. Um, that's not it. Um, also, because it's transparent, it can be used in window panes. And finally, its insulation qualities have been used in very sophisticated vehicles such as the Mars Space Rover. Crazy stuff, right? I think aerogels are the perfect solution for you. That sounds cool and all, but I want to know more about the material before I use it. You know what? I think I have the perfect solution to your dilemma. Hello everyone. Today we are going to explore the mysterious world of aerogels, hailed as one of the most extraordinary materials that will innovate our future. In particular, we will be discussing silica aerogel, the most researched and abundant version of its kind. Earlier today, we discussed that silica aerogels are capable of being lightweight, strong, brittle, transparent, and especially thermally insulative. But now you may be asking, how can one material be capable of so much? The real magic of aerogel lies in its physical and chemical composition. The lightweight of silica aerogel stems from its chemical composition at 99.8% air and 0.2% silica dioxide. The amount of mass thanks to the silicate is nearly non-existent, and air is naturally a lightweight compound. Silica aerogels are also composed of a 3D network of polymer bonds, which are held together by covalent forces and create the porous microstructure seen at molecular levels of observation. The polymers consist of silicate found in silica dioxide. The porous 3D network of polymers and gas composition in aerogels gives the material its strength and compression. Thanks to aerogel's insanely high surface area, all the force it encounters is evenly distributed over the material, allowing it to handle weight several times its own. Air is also difficult to compress, adding to the material's resistance to pressure. Yet, this comes with a price. Being that aerogels consist almost entirely of air, that leaves them to be very brittle when bent or stretched. Gases have no resistance to those shearing forces, and the little silicate in the material does not prevent it from being broken either. Silica aerogels also have the amazing property of being relatively transparent. This is thanks to the high concentration of gas within aerogels. Yet aerogels are not totally transparent. 
The porous nature of the material makes it difficult for light to pass through without being scattered, which is similar to the way light is refracted in the atmosphere. That's why aerogel appears sky blue in all of its pictures. The last and arguably most important property of silicate aerogels is their thermal conductivity, or lack thereof. The three methods of heat transfer, conduction, convection, and radiation, are almost completely negated thanks to the porous structure of aerogels. Conduction is bad in aerogels because almost the entire material is composed of gas, which are poor heat conductors by nature. Silicate is also a poor conductor by nature. The ridiculously small pores in aerogel also provide very little room for heat to move via conduction by restricting the circulation of heat. Radiation, though not terrible, isn't top-notch in aerogels thanks to its ability to refract light. The insulative properties of aerogels are what makes it so special in today's world. Don't be surprised to hear about it being used in the buildings of tomorrow. Well, that's all the time I have here. Thanks for watching, and stick around to find out how aerogels are actually made. Ta ta! Most aerogels have three basic steps in their processing. The first step in the process is the making of a sole in a container. A sole is a mixture of chemicals specified as a catalyst and an alkalized solution. The catalyst is made from water, ethanol, and a specific kind of hydroxide while the alkaline solution is made from tetraethyloxylene or tetramethyloxylene and ethanol or methanol respectively. The next step is the gelling process or the creation of an alkyl After the sole has been created, it is allowed to sit so that the chemicals begin to join together and create the polymer that makes up the aerogel. This process can take as long as multiple days to complete. To aid the gelling process, aerogel Producers alternate adding ethanol and acetone to the sole to prevent separations in the sole. When the polymer structure has grown to spend the entire container, it is called the alkyl gel. gels are part liquid, part solid polymer. The final step is the supercritical dyeing of the alkyl gel. This happens when the liquid part of the alkyl gel is evaporated away from the solid. The solid left behind is aerogel. To make the aerogel more dense, producers increase the amount of the oxide solution that is put in the sole. This increases the degree of polymer ionization, or the amount of mers that are contained in every unit of volume in the aerogel. Also, if the producers want to change the transparency or gel time of the aerogel, they add more of the catalyst to the stock solution or they just add more stock solution. The increase in catalyst would increase the rate at which the polymers are created and expand. The aerosol would be less transparent because the polymer chains would have less time to set them themselves in an orderly or crystal-like structure. And that's how it's made. <laughs> so, what do you think? Silicon aerogels sound really cool. Where can I get some? Well, you just have to look for your local aerogel provider. I forgot to initially tell you this, but I don't think aerogel is the most cost-effective solution to your problem. The process to make it is pretty expensive and it takes a really long time. Bummer, right? So you mean to tell me about this really cool material just to end with that I can't have it? Yeah. Such a great friend you are. Sarcasm. <sighs> At least I learned about really cool installation material today.